What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another unboxing showcase review. And we finally have the, at first I thought was an SDCC Comic-Con exclusive for Marvel Legends. This is Death's Head, but it started to be released elsewhere for pre-order. So that's even awesome. Now I did not go to San Diego Comic-Con, wish I did, but I was able to order this through Hasbro Pulse when it did go up for sale. So they shipped it out right away. Awesome, very cool to get it. Now I finally have it. And it is absolutely amazing to see something like this because it's Death's Head, you know, not a very familiar character. It's nice to see him as like, you know, this one-off uh, character that was made, but this packaging is amazing to me. And that's just from me who used to collect the trading cards for this. This is wonderful. I think it's a great design for them to do something like this, and I hope to see them do it more. I really do. So we have the whole, you know, trading card look here as the box window, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, we have some artwork on the side as well. And even better, we have the statistics on the back of the box, basically similar to what we had on the back of the cards, which is absolutely crazy. I can't remember if I even have the Death's Heads card. I don't remember, but we'll see. So statistics here and, you know, nice little brief sentence of who Death's Head is. So let's just take a look, open up the box, which I haven't even cut the tape yet. So here we go, unboxing. Uh, you guys know what it's all about for me. I typically keep my packages anyway. So let's see what's in this tray. And oh, there's two trays. So of course we have some accessories in the back, the figure in the front. Let's do this all properly, take a look. All right, guys, we got everything out of the box. Let's take a look at accessories and we'll work on the paint sculpt. And starting off with the hands, we do have a single right expressive hand. It's like open palm type of thing. Kind of what we see with females, that type of gesture. And then we have a gripping hand. And then we also have a pair of fists. So the first accessory looks like a missile or rocket of some kind. I don't really understand it. Um, is including it has what looks it looks like a peg on the end of it but yeah it's all one color or the plastic gray color and then the next one is a sort of spiked mace um, not much of a long handle but then again here you go it looks like another peg system of some kind but hey I could be wrong it's just that's what it looks like to me and then here we have an axe same gray color I am just, you know, there's a part of me that's getting confused because of how small it is, because it's just the head of the axe. And then there's really no gripping area to hold it except where I put it on his hand. And once again, another pegged area. Um, maybe it's just for the shield. I, I have no idea. The, I'm just confused of the way it is. Normally you have like some sort of staff with it. If you guys have an answer, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, there is some wear on here on the sculpt, so that, that helps. It does look good, but it's all one color, just like all the other accessories, all one color. And here's the shield. Silver, yellow paint, got some slashes on there. Uh, and then on the back, here is the peg for him to hold it. But then there's these three individual locations right there, which I'm going to assume this is where you can... Just insert the 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 accessory, and I think it'll vary where you put it on there because of you know the the, the gauge or the thickness of what is being inserted. Um, this is why I'm somewhat confused in the spot because maybe with the way this is, or I don't know, does this come off? I don't know if that comes off because here this this area is too thick for it maybe this goes here yeah maybe that goes there that goes there okay so there you have that um yeah so for this you can insert this on his back for the peg which is great i like that storage i love storage yep that's awesome to see um, and then from, you know, the back, that's how it looks. So that's not bad to have all of that in there. I'm just a little confused because of how small those items are. I mean, it works great. 
to have storage on the back of the shield, but to hold it in hand, I don't know. I don't know, it's just weird to me. So now let's take a look at paint and sculpt because there's a bunch of colors here, which is great. How it's painted, I have some things here and there. This The sculpt though, sculpt wise looks awesome, really does. There is some familiarity in regards of what parts are used, which is actually pretty, pretty smart. It's actually really cool because I would have never assumed Death's Head as the character to use these, to, well, to take the parts and use them as Death's Head. I never would have thought of it, but this is great. There are some new pieces here to kind of flesh it out to make it look like the character. So I, I welcome it. That's awesome to see. Um, but from, from the top, from the head, the head looks great. That looks awesome. Uh, this sculpt looks really good, so not too bad at all. And then the sculpt of the this like shoulder armor that is attached to the cape here, so it is like glued or channeled in there, so that's not going to come off. But this cape, I love like that rib texture right here. That's nice to see, and of course some some torn up edges and holes in there. That's really cool, and it doesn't it. It doesn't reach to the ground all the way, so that's good that it, well, you could use it as like a third leg if you wanted to, but he'll lean back um, to stand up. There is uh, the, like, what is this, Colossus? Uh, you can see all the patterns here, including into the chest. Awesome to see that. That's very cool. Uh, the skirt piece. Skirt piece is very, it's its pretty flexible, so you can maneuver that around. It isn't attached to the body, so that helps to, to help uh, articulate. There is no part in the back, so hey, I guess it's not needed considering the, the cape is back there. And then, of course, you see it in the legs. And then right here, there's a lot of damage throughout all of the, um, the armor pieces, because you can see here all the slash marks these like bullet hole type things. Um, even in the shins right here of the boots, it definitely has taken up some damage. And his hands, his hands, they're sculpted nicely. It's got all this texture that you can see. Very cool, like it. But when it comes to paint, that's where it's like, okay, they just minimalize it in a way, but it still looks, it still looks good they applied it where they needed to apply it i mean most of this here the armor and things like so the gloves the skirt the boots they're all like a blue plastic and then they applied the yellow paint that's where kind of throws it off because that yellow paint just looks like it's bleeding throughout the edges here including on this side they did apply yellow paint onto the the spikes part of the gloves in here as well because it looks like it's just kind of just like it's not bleeding over into the blue, but you can just see where the edge is stopped. Um, so that's really the only thing. It's not bad, but it's, you know, you can just see it when you look up close. That's the only thing. At least, you know, where they have all the damage in there, they kind of use the wash to help accentuate those damages, including like, the, like the, the little bullet holes or the dent areas. They're all blackened out. So that's a nice touch that they've done here. And of course with the skirt, you know, they applied the red paint, the yellow here. This is all nicely done too. So, you know, it, that's where it makes you worry because as much as the yellow applies onto the blue, the green, sometimes there might be like a sh small shade of green that kind of starts to appear, but luckily it has not happened. Um, paint applied on the chest there. So all cool. It's still all cool. Even on the, the head sculpt, head sculpt looks great considering with the paint that they applied here, the eyes looks like they use the digital paint on the eyes. So that's very well done, but yeah, paint and sculpt. It's not bad, but you know, you can tell what was done. And for articulation, so head, oh geez, head, we have a neck joint going there. So that's nice to see that we have it on this character because you can look up and down very nicely. Is there any pivoting? Just very slightly, very, very slightly. Um, of course you can turn the head around. This is somewhat loose because it's only attached right here. So there can be some movement because the arms can go around and it won't really have an issue. Has an upper bicep. Um, 
and then the single jointed elbow, which of course this is reuse arm, so that's why there's a pin, has an ab crunch, which can go back pretty nicely and go forward very nicely as well. There is a waist swivel too. There is the upper thigh cut, the double jointed knee, as you can see, and it's pinless, which is very nice. The boot swivel and then the ankle that can go ooh, very nice. And of course it rocks. So the pivoting is good on that. That's, you know, your, your typical Marvel legend, which I've come to know and enjoy with my action figures of Marvel legends, but there you go, articulation. Okay, we're working on size comparisons. So, how tall is he? At the top of his head, he is pretty much seven and a half inches tall, almost close to seven and three quarters. All right, I'm getting my usual suspects out. Jada Toys Street Fighter. Here we have a Mezco Gomez. Valiverse Action Force. Here we have some Marvel Legends. And I had a Marvel Select lying around. A Mythic Legions Valiant Knight and some Savage Crucible. All right, guys, there you have it. There is my unboxing showcase review on the Marvel Legends Death's Head. Do like it, I do like it. Yes, I had some little nitpicks here about the paint, but it's still an overall well-sculpted figure, especially with the reuse. And I liked what they did to make this character come to life for Death's Head, I really do. I am questioning about the accessories, you know, like how to, technically use them or hold them in his hand. I know I have the mace. The mace would make sense, but it's just small. I figured they would have a longer staff or something to attach to it. That That's just what, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I Maybe I just don't know much about the character to, you know, kind of consider how the weapons are used. And I will probably look that up. So correct me if I'm wrong. Please leave those comments and let me know um, what you may know about the character that I don't. So I do like this figure. It will definitely go well on my cosmic shelf because that I've been fleshing that shelf out a lot and this will be a welcoming addition to it so let me know what you guys think I would love to hear your thoughts on this did you pick one up yourself so make sure you hit the like comment subscribe if you're new I would greatly appreciate it thank you guys so much hope to see you soon and I hope to see you on the next hunt